people who went to the hospital for having something stuck up your butt. What is your story? I was hooking up with this dude one night and he says he has a brand new vibrating butt plug and wants to know if I want to try it. It's small so I say yes, because I was trying to see if I liked things being stuck my ass. I ended up kind of liking it and after we were done I proceed to pull it out. I can't find it. I start to panic and hope to god it fell out. I feel for around me and underneath me. Nope. It's beep stuck in my ass vibrating away. I try to pull it out but I just push it in deeper with my fingers. I'm beep freaking out and ask him to drive me to the hospital. I sit in the chair and wait for my turn while it's still beep vibrating in me. The doctor finally pulls it out. It was one of the most embarrassing and humiliating times of my life. I learned that bigger is better when it comes to butt plugs. Edit. So I saw a lot of people asking how the doctor got it out. I had to pretty much lie on my side as he stuck his fingers in my vagina and he pushed it out that way. Dot. It was very very uncomfortable lol. And yes, I still like things in my ass but I learned my lesson. Got a feeling op has to go to the ur and needs a good cover story. Pro tip from someone who worked in the ur. We respected people who admitted they stuck it up their ass but would always laugh at those who said they fell on it and exchange stories during breaks. My ex-wife worked as an OR nurse and she said that one night this guy came in with a glass sphere paperweight stuck up his butt. He had had it up there for days, so he needed emergency surgery to remove it. The wife requested to have the paperweight returned because it was a family heirloom. My sister is an OR nurse in a local hospital. A few years ago, a guy came into the ER in the very early morning hours on the weekend with a medium-sized eggplant stuck up his ass that he couldn't get out. They had to take him in for an emergency surgery to remove it. The crazy thing is, he drove almost two hours away from where lived so he wouldn't be seen by someone he knew. Finally my time to shine. As a kid first discovering masturbation, I a male decided to try sticking things up my ass. It felt more like a massage and not as enjoyable as people made it out to be. Anyway I decided to try sticking batteries up my ass because you know, maybe it's like anal beads. So there I was in a shower shoving double A's up my ass like the idiot I was. I did not think of how I would be getting them out. I decided I was done and decided to beat them out, only two of the five came. I'm thinking oh beat because my family would never let me live it down and many are religious. I decided I would rather die from internal battery acid before going to a hospital. So there I was in a shower trying to beat batteries like I'm a beep Autobot freaking out. After much strain the last one barely came out. The relief is like nothing else and I will never stick another thing up my ass. TD, LR, I got batteries up my ass, and they were not leaving, could not let family know. This probably doesn't meet your expectation for a stuck up your butt story, but. When I was 10, me and a friend were playing seesaw on a large piece of unfinished lumber. We decided it would be fun to jump onto one side from a low hanging tree limb, which would subsequently launch the other person into outer space. When it was my turn to be launched, I slipped, and instead of flying off, I got thwapped in the nuts and six inches, of a splinter, up my ass. Worst emergency room visit ever. Back in med school I remember a 60-something year old man that showed up with a large cucumber in his rectum. It was so deep he needed to go to the OR to remove it. He claimed that one of his friends put it there for medicinal reasons, and it seemed it was not the first time he had done it. Update. Wow I was not expecting so many upvotes and questions, I am glad you enjoyed it. Many have asked why they didn't just wait for him to poop it out and why he needed to go to the OR. This happened a couple of years ago so I don't remember all the details of this case, but there are a few reasons why waiting might be a bad idea. An object that large might be difficult to poop out, especially if the insertion was traumatic as that causes inflammation, meaning the object is being held tightly. There could also be lacerations to the rectum which would make pooping it out very painful. Dot. More serious complications of leaving the object for longer periods of time include perforation, infection, bowel obstruction. When the patient is taken to the OR, that doesn't necessarily mean they are going to cut him open. Quite often he is put under anesthesia so the doctors can attempt to extract the object via the rectum without causing too much pain. If the object is REAAAALLY deep or if there are other complications that require surgery then you are already in the OR. An x-ray tech that I knew told me that someone came in with a lot of blood coming out of his behind. 
He said that he was sledding down a hill and noticed there was a wheelbarrow at the bottom of the hill with the handles facing the uphill. Instead of rolling off the sled, he hiked his legs up over his head and went asshole first onto the wheelbarrow handle. Poor guy made up a when wheelbarrow's attack story instead of just admitting whatever he really did, and somehow he was sledding without pants on? Edit, same guy also said someone shoved an entire softball into themselves, but I don't know how that occurred. I worked in the ER for 10 years and I have a lot of these, but my favorite was a rolled up newspaper with staples in it wrapped in duct tape. The staples ended up shredding his colon and he needed emergency surgery, but when the doc asked him what happened he just sheepishly said he really likes the news. My story isn't so much about something stuck up my butt so much as it is about a stuck butt. I was born with a condition called imperforate anus. Basically it means my butthole never developed. So technically I was born without a butthole. I like to joke and say that I was born not giving a beep the way doctors fixed this for me was they ripped me a new one. Lol. They performed a colostomy on the left side of my waist so I can expel waste. I know what you're thinking. That's not where a butthole goes. I agree. Seems like a cruel prank but I digress. After about a year, they reroute the opening they made with the colostomy to where it should have naturally formed. TLDR. I have a man-made asshole. MMA for short. When I was a general surgery resident I've taken out a lot of things stuck in people's rectums. Cucumber, corn on the cob, dildos of course, and Barbie dolls. Only one person just honestly said that he was doing it for pleasure. Everyone else said that they slipped and fell. Trust me, nobody believes that you were the one in a million that happened to run through a cornfield and then fall on a corn that then got stuck in your butt. Nobody. Reminds me of Scrubs where they interviewed a few characters who shoved stuff up their butt. The excuses were typically, I fell on it, until this one dude nonchalantly said, I was bored, while shrugging. Not my story but my dad's, who was a surgeon for 30 plus years. Guy comes in with, something, up his ass. Turns out it's a zucchini. Well, at least it was a zucchini. This dude left that veg up there long enough for it to rot, and his insides got all rotten too. So Mr. Zook we'll call him starts desperately pleading, you can't tell my wife about this. And of course HIPAA exists so my dad's like yeah no worries, if you don't want her to know she won't. They get him prepped for surgery, and the guy's wife comes in looking for the doctor wanting to know what's going on. My dad greets her and says, ma'am, your husband is going to be fine, but I'm not at liberty to disclose any further details about his condition or his treatment. She's pissed and is like, that's my husband, you can tell me, and he just repeats, I cannot discuss his condition or his treatment with you further. So she goes to see Mr. Zook left about five minutes later and never returned. To the best of my recollection, Mr. Zook ended up with a permanent colostomy bag because there was so much damage. Granted he told me this story about 20 years ago. Disclaimer to state the obvious. Quotes are my recollection of what was said, not exact quotes. Edit. Some in the comments are wondering how Mr. Zook just let it rot and how did he not die, etc. I don't know the extent to which the zucchini rotted. Just that it was to some degree rotted, enough for the bacteria to damage his lower intestines. My dad passed a few years ago, so I can't get exact clarification, but I don't believe it was a fully rotten, mushy goo he could have just pooped out. Also to the kind person who gave my comment a wholesome award. Thank you but also you may need to check, wholesome, in the dictionary. Rotating through the ed as a resident. Patient presents with complaints of a bleed from his rectum states it was only a single instance but was notably not up to date with his colonoscopies. His vitals were fine, his abdominal exam was admittedly brief but didn't turn up much. His blood counts and abdominal x-ray was normal too. We figured he'd be a routine discharge to primary care follow-up for a screening colonoscopy. Now, as I return to his room and discuss the plan with the patient, he then goes, hey doctor, there's something I hadn't told you before. Earlier today, I had taken the handle of a broomstick and put it up my butt. Quick lesson. So wood is radiolucent and will not show up on an x-ray. I do a more thorough exam, and on asterisk deeper asterisk palpation of his stomach, there's something round that feels quite firm. 
CT scan of his abdomen showed a 13 cm segment of his colon making a asterisk perfect asterisk asterisk cylinder asterisk. Dot. So yeah. We referred him to surgery because no amount of elbow deep reaching, tweaking, or torquing was overcoming the negative pressure void that was his sigmoid colon. Tip for new trainees and medical students. Sometimes the best question you can ask a patient is, is there anything I haven't asked about asterisk that asterisk asterisk you asterisk asterisk think asterisk asterisk I asterisk asterisk should asterisk asterisk no asterisk asterisk about asterisk? Edit 1. I forget what words mean edit 2. My top Reddit comment is officially a stick up the butt story. I've heard a lot of these stories working for years in ER. The worst is about a guy that managed to put inside his ass a pretty big frozen fish, head first, so that a few hours later the fish defrosted and all the spines started to get stuck and the guy's rectum and it was impossible to remove it, so he had to get operated on. Yikes. Another one is about a guy who was playing with a little, ceramic, virgin statue and somehow it got too deep and came asking for help to remove it. But he never admitted that. His story was that he tripped and fell with the ass on floor and it got inside accidentally edit, update. The guy didn't have to pay anything, because this happened in Spain and we have 100% free healthcare. He showed up in ER only after the fish defrosted. It seems he was happy at home with his buttfish and the pain and trouble appeared when he realized wasn't able to pull it out. I used to work for a doctor's office for multiple general surgeons who were on call for our local hospital. Every month I scanned at least three to four hospital notes into the system about people having things stuck in their anus slash colon. My favorite story was from the guy that claims he was cleaning his house while naked and accidentally sat on the handle of the Swiffer he was using. Other noteworthy items. A hard-boiled egg. An entire beer bottle. A bottle of vitamins. Multiple instances of Sharpies slash markers. A flathead screwdriver, this one became a serious issue as it traveled really far and perforated the patient's colon a very large deli pickle. If you're into anal play that's nothing to be embarrassed about, but for the love of God please use toys that are specifically designed for the purpose and won't get lost. Avoid using anything without a flared base, including dildos designed for vaginal penetration that don't have something on the end to block you from clenching that sucker right past the sphincter of no return. My Phil has worked in commercial construction for 40 years or so. He said that his crew was putting acoustical ceilings in a building and break time rolls around. He climbed off the end of the scaffold they were working on. His help turns around backwards, puts his hands on the scaffold and kinda vaults himself off the scaffold backwards there was a piece of one inch conduit sticking out of the ground about 36 to 40 where the electricians hadn't cut it off he landed on it it went up his ass around eight to nine deep and they all ran over and helped pull him off of it he almost died but somehow made it they rushed him to emergency surgery and stitched his asshole back together he literally got torn a new one edit the scaffold old dude vaulted off of was 6 feet high. Lots of velocity to get penetrated in the rectal circuit by conduit. Isn't there a coffee table book of ass x-rays? My grandmother once worked in medical records and she told me about a file she read through mentioned a guy who came to the hospital with a tennis ball stuck up his ass. The guy's comment on how it got there was he quote dot 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 fell on it. I went to the ER when my large enjoy butt plug went up my butt. Funny thing was, I was certain it just fell out and I'd find it later, so I proceeded to get absolutely riggety riggety wrecked by my date for over an hour. Somehow, they didn't notice the solid steel butt plug while inside me and the butt plug got pushed way, way up there. After sex, I decided the butt plug must have fallen out somewhere in the fun, so I'd go to sleep and find it the next day. I woke up around 5A and knew something was very wrong. My partner, we had an open relationship, drove me to the ER. The front desk person nearly spit out their coffee when I casually strolled in and said, I'm pretty confident there's a butt plug lost up my anus. I have no shame about sexy stuff and didn't see the point in making up some beep story. They took me to some test, ultrasound, x-ray, I can't remember, to see if the butt plug was up there. The image came back clear as day. Here's my butt they put me under and removed it. Dot. No issues. I retrieved that butt plug from pathology a week or two later. Enjoy plugs are not cheap. 
and planned to shadowbox the retired butt plug with my X-ray photo. I now asterisk only asterisk use the XL enjoy butt plug. All in all, a good time. Would do again. This is my type of question. Come on Barbie let's go party. Jesus just buy a beep dildo. I promise it's way less embarrassing than going to the ER. I pulled over a drunk woman who claimed to be in possession of a voodoo dildo. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.